What is up guys, it's ETR TV and in today's logo tutorial, first one after so long, we're going to be looking at an updated tutorial on how to create custom championships logos for WW2K18, but this time just to show you the full process, I'm going to go right from the screen you get when you first open Affinity, so this is what you got, and for anyone who asks in my comments, what do I use, I use Affinity designer it's also in the video title so what you would go to is new document 512 by 512 transparent background so you need to do on here go OK and here we go with the canvas now on a couple of my videos someone asks how do I do the template for the belt itself I showed you on the, my last tutorial how to make the shapes and the text but I didn't show how I made the tile belt itself so here's an example what i do is i find an image of an existing championship on google copy and paste resize and this is what i use to make my template so i'll go to the pen tool zoom in then what i'll do is i'll trace half of the championship because then I can just mirror it to complete the other half. And there we go. So there is half of it done. I'll then click to the node tool and just but yeah, fold these lines so they are how I want them to be. It doesn't have to be perfect because it won't show 100% and to be honest the tiles or the plates in game aren't the exact shape so you can get away with it a little bit but zooming back out here is one half of the plate just gonna make it black if you duplicate it flip it go to the arrow tool move over there it is then if you highlight both of them this little tool here will join them then centralize it resize it a bit and there we go there is your template or your shape template for your championship so from here this is where we add all the designs or all the cool shapes text that you want to put on your championship now to do that you've got your shape tools you've got your pen tools you've got your text tools so we're going to start with text so we have I'm going to draw a random text type champion I'm just going to move it off the plate a sec so you can see where I am. So if I change the font to recent font, let's use let's use United Sands. So if I drag it, put it roughly in the center, and you might have to move it. This is where it's originally snapped, but you might have to move it a little higher up. The reason I say that is this point throws off the center of this curve. So if you put it where you think is the center, set it to a raise, and this will be the gold area. Anywhere in black will be black or carbon fiber, depending on what you want to put in your championship as your, your detailed area. So if you want to add an outline, so let's say a band of gold around the edge but black on either side, if you duplicate the original curve, so basically copy and paste it twice, on both of the bottom curves where you have color go to stroke make the stroke wider but have the middle one a less or have the width of that stroke smaller than the bottom one and then set that to a raise and as you can see you have a band of well clear transparent erased area to go around the championship so this is what we've got so far if we go to the pen tool, start here for example, make some random nodes and make a shape, random shape, set it to a raise so you can just see where you're going and also turn stroke off because if, if the last thing you draw has a stroke or an outline to it, the next thing you draw will have that same outline so you have to make sure you turn it off. So we go to the node tool curve the lines 
I'm gonna move this here, curve it there, curve it there, and there's a shape we got for our corner. So if we copy and paste that, now you don't have to make your championships asymm or symmetrical. It's just something I personally like to do. I like to have um, a symmetric design. By all means, if you want to be asymmetric, be asymmetric. But yeah, this is literally how you create your championships. You just make shapes and erase, set them all to erase every time you do it. And you have a cool championship design. Now, this is another tip I've got. So if you look, for example, I've got a circle and I've got the word champion. And because they're both set to arrays, you can't see the champion anymore. So if you duplicate champion, set the one at the bottom to normal, give that one a stroke or an outline, and now that will appear. So then for the next part of the tutorial, when you come to add your carbon fiber, you'll have a carbon fiber surround of the text and anything behind it will be hidden. I'm just going to centralize that. So if I go make to the pen tool, make some more random shapes just to fill the championship that much more. Got to move that down, set that one to a raise. And then what you want to do is every time you make a additional shape and then if you click both you can then snap it to a certain area if you want them both to go as detailing under the text you'll have to as i just did there drag it under the outlined shape so another thing of worth noting is if you have any dingbot dingbat founts so for example and non bats, if I turn stroke off, gives you. On well, this one, it's like a weird, like Illuminati Anonymous. You can put it in there. And if you use this convert to curves, if you're using text, this only works with dingbats. But if you convert to curves, it will convert the shape into a curve. Like, for example, this is a curve, turns that into a curve. So if you go to the node tool, it gives you all these nodes which you can then delete. So say I don't want this disobey bit, delete that, and just remove all these nodes that you don't want, leaving you with this part. So if I take that, put that in the center of our plate, again, put it under the champion curve. And what I'll also do is I think that top needs to go there we go. So we've got a nice another bit of detail. This will work if you've got a dingbat of a skull or a dingbat of globes. Just little things like that. So if I just fill in this championship just a bit more. I admit this isn't the best championship of the, in the world, but it's just so I can show you tips and tricks on how to make tiles. And if anyone on Twitter has seen the championships I make, it's basically, it's done like this. So we have this champion plate. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase that to 15, because I want it to be pretty thick. So now we've got what we consider our championship design. If you highlight every layer or every item you've made so far, right click on them. If you group them, and then duplicate the group and then for the sake of this I'm just going to open up an existing belt design that I have for example this is a side plate from a championship of mine but it's got something that I need on it so if I go through all these layers copy this image and this image is a carbon fiber texture so if I make this full size if I set the, uh, the back to 100, as you can see, it's a blank. It's, it's covered the entire canvas. If you take the duplicate of the group, if you drag it, so you see a little green bar on the side of image, what it will do is it will crop it 
or image mask it to the shape of that group. So as you can see, we now have carbon fiber in every black area of the belt. And then what I do is I will lower the opacity of the belt to about 60, so it's, it keeps its dark color. So then if you take those two, group them again, go to effect, go to bevel and a boss, and then if you use the settings that I make here, this is how I create my bevel effect in my championships. So 1-5 in boss, invert 90-45. As you can see, it's embossed. All the area in carbon fiber is, if we were looking at this in a 3D perspective, it's at the back, while all the fingers in transparent are at the front. That's how you create the engraving 3D effect. In game, there is the emboss effect. I use a mixture of the two, so I have it here. And then the in game, I have the effect at a smaller value. So that's how you create this. If you want to add color to this championship, say for example, you want the text, the, the champion text to be white. What you do is you'd go to the group that had the cut out area, so not the group that you used to image mask, but the original one. Copy and paste champion, drag your copy outside of the groups, place it under the main group, set it to normal. As you can see, it's black. Whenever you draw something in Affinity, it starts off black. As you can see, it has kept the embossed because it's gone under the group, but it's now filled in that area of color. So if I go green there, sorry, not green, white, it will make champion white. If I then take, say, the circle, and I copy and paste that circle, take it outside of the group, set it to normal, put it under the group and under champion. If I set that to green, we now have a green inside part of our championship. So this is the, the finale part of the logo tutorial. This is how you create the logos. And this is how I create my logos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import this into 2K and show you how to apply this to a championship. Okay, so I'm now in the game I'm in 2K18 and I've gone to create a custom championship. So this is what you create it with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to template. Now I use the WWE championship or the uh, universal title so I'll use original championship 7 so we just wait for that to load and accept so I showed you how to make the front plate so I'll show you how to apply the front plate in this tutorial so as you can see you have the plate and it's got all the jewels around the side and to get rid of them I go to images and relief and scroll right to the bottom until I find the WCW relief because I find it has a nice clean metallic edge to it. So I will take the belt and make it full sized because I want that gold area under the WCW wording which is a nice clean bit of gold so I'll keep making it larger and just slowly moving the championship relief up until it covers the entire plate. Now to be honest you can use any relief you want as long as it does this as long as you get this effect of it covers the entire plate I just always use the WCW one it's just all personal preference and then eventually you get a completely covered front plate meaning the logo will fit nicely over it so we go to our custom images go right to the bottom and there is our image. So we apply it, then you stretch it out as large as you want it. So let's say I want to keep a bit of gold on the outside. So about, about there. And then say for example, if you look at the bottom, the bottom corners don't 100% reach the edge. So this is where you say go into a finley and edit your design a bit. But for the sake of this, that fits pretty nicely. And then, Unlike last year, you can add materials 
to your championships. So for example, I personally use either the steel or the concrete, but let's go with steel because that way you have a completely metallic championship. Now the emboss tool is the second part. When you change the material to steel, it automatically sets the emboss at 20. What I do is I set it to about 4. Because then if you look, it gives it an extra level of emboss. The embossing, you did the majority of it in Affinity, this just embosses it in-game. Then just going back to it, say you had a completely monochrome logo and it was embossed enough, you can set it to colourless. One thing I'd say is, if you're going to do one single colour logo, do not do black. You can do grey, you can do right. The reason you can't do black is for some reason I don't know. Black doesn't emboss in game. White, white does really well actually. As you can see, the champion, the white champion, uh, embosses very well, even if you set it to colourless. So we set a emboss of four. Material is steel, and here we are. That is how to apply the logos in your championship. So yeah, that's just a quick tutorial or an updated tutorial on how to create a championship logo in a Finley Designer and then how to apply it onto a championship in game. As always, this has been BKLTV. Hopefully more tutorials will be on the way. Please like, favor and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.